The media said. <laughs> Here they get a the load of me. <laughs> it's all fake news. It's phony stuff. It didn't happen. <laughs> this town needs an enema. Refusing to accept the real reason she lost to President elect Donald Trump. This is a case where they're trying to steal an election. They're trying to rig an election, and we can't let that happen. Winning is easy, losing is never easy. Not for me, it's not. Some people are dumb. Holy nightmare! Riddle me this. I did not collude with Russia, nor do I know of anyone else in the campaign who did so. I'm a name. A penguin is a bird that cannot fly. I thought you were the coolest role model a young person could have. Just the pussy I've been looking for. The world is watching what's taking place. Charisma. out there calling for recounts that are unsubstantiated based on no evidence this was a legitimate election mm -hmm. and no one should question the fact that Donald Trump is the president of losing is never easy not for me it's not we want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to whoa, whoa, whoa. be... I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting, unless she has more details... People out there calling for up. recounts that are unsubstantiated based on no evidence. So what are you saying? The GOP doesn't need to be turning away voters and isolating them. We need to be bringing them into the tent. Mm. Donald Trump is the last person who's going to do it. will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. Exactly why am I going to help you? You're fired. The Abraham Lincoln made the radical decision to sign the, the Emancipation Proclamation. What radical yeah. means? Call me a radical. Do you think the Democrats are sore losers? Yeah, I do. The reality is they're a bunch of spoiled crybabies. <laughs> so we are going to continue the lawsuit here. We're going to bring a second one. And then we're going to bring a federal lawsuit. And you largely ignore the affidavits that are filed. What the fuck? Whether you agree or disagree with an affidavit, it's evidence. Where is the evidence? Right here, Sean. 234 pages of sworn affidavits. These are real people, real allegations, no, signed really with beautiful. notaries. Respond. No, you dirty boy, you. <laughs> Since my arrival, we removed 700, uh, uh, 700 post, uh, post collection boxes, of which I had no idea. <laughs> this is our budget working in concert with OMB. Hi there. Allow me to break the ice. I'm not violating the law. I never would have done anything I that violated the, the law. Chargers. The ice men coming. Merry Christmas, Mr. Wayne. Merry Christmas, Albert. Goodwill toward men. And women. We break and divide every demonic confederacy against the election, against America, against that who you have declared to be in the White House. We break it up in the name of Jesus. Uh, so 
coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here from Africa. South Africa. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Can you introduce me as Joker? Look what happened because of what you did, what it led to. There were riots out there. Two policemen are in critical condition. You're <laughs> laughing. You're laughing. Someone was killed today because of what you did. I know. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill loner with a it. society that abandons him oh, and beats him like trash! Call the police! I'll man. tell you what you get! Call the police! Get what you fucking deserve! What are we talking about? Let's clap for that! This idiot is the president! He's so blatantly stupid. He's a punk. He's a dog. He's a pig, he's a con, a bullshit artist, a mutt who doesn't know what he's talking about, doesn't do his homework, doesn't care, doesn't pay his taxes. He's an idiot, Colin Powell said it best. He's a national disaster, he's an embarrassment to this country. Please do not It's put going to disappear one day, families. it's like a miracle, it will disappear. At risk. To always play it down, I still I do like playing it the down. the best that yes, I thought I could. I don't want to create it a not panic. Worth it. The president never downplayed the virus. Put your masks on. Don't go out if you don't have to. They're gasping for breath, and yet they don't believe they have COVID? And their last dying words are, um, this can't be happening, it's not real. And when they should be spending time FaceTiming their families, they're filled with anger and hatred. Can I call your family, your kids, your wife, your friend, your brother? And they say, no, because I'm going to be fine. <laughs> I raised a million dollars for him. It's a lot of money. I supported him. He lost. He let us down. But, you know, he lost. So I never liked him as much after that, because I don't like losers. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. And, uh, frankly, we're, we're scared. Um, we're scared of an Obama presidency. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, he is a decent person and a person that you do not have to be scared as president of the United States. Now, I, I just, now I just. I can't trust Obama. I, I, I have read about him and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No ma'am. No ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. No, ma no, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen, that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. Thank you. My friends, we have, we have come to the end of a long journey. The American people have spoken, and they have spoken clearly. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. A little while ago, I had the honor of calling Senator Barack Obama to congratulate him. Please. To congratulate him on being elected the next president of the country that we both love. In a contest as long and difficult as this campaign has been, 
His success alone commands my respect for his ability and perseverance. But that he managed to do so by inspiring the hopes of so many millions of Americans who had once wrongly believed that they had little at stake or little influence in the election of an American president is something I deeply admire and commend him for achieving. This is an historic election, and I recognize the special significance it has for African Americans and for the special pride that must be theirs tonight. I've always believed that America offers opportunities to all who have the industry and will to seize it. Senator Obama believes that too. But we both recognize that though we have come a long way from the old injustices that once stained our nation's reputation and denied some Americans the full blessings of American citizenship, the memory of them still had the power to wound. I promise you. boys, shot. stand back and stand by. A century ago, President Theodore Roosevelt's invitation of Booker T. Washington to, to dine at the White House was taken as an outrage in many quarters. America today is a world away from the cruel and prideful bigotry of that time. There is no better evidence of this than the election of an Amer African American to the presidency of the United States. Let there be no reason now. <laughs> Let there be no reason now for any American to fail to cherish their citizenship in this, the greatest nation on earth, and offer him my sincere sympathy that his beloved grandmother did not live to see this day. Though our faith assures us she is at rest in the presence of her creator, and so very proud of the good man she helped raise. I urge all Americans who supported me to join me in not just congratulating him, but offering our next president our goodwill and earnest effort to find ways to come together, to find the necessary compromises to bridge our differences and help restore our prosperity defend our security in a dangerous world, and leave our children and grandchildren a stronger, better country than we inherited. Whatever our differences, we are fellow Americans. And please believe me when I say, no association has ever meant more to me than that. But were he part company with you, if you lack the basic values of decency, respect, and he could not stand the abuse of power. Don't be rude. To paraphrase Shakespeare. We shall not see his like again.